You don't think I know the same people to pay for the list or kill for it? You don't think I'm taking precautions? I'm sure you have. I just need to be certain that they're sufficient, that's all. Well, you don't have to worry about it. Actually, I kind of do. Worrying is part of my job description. I worry about things. I don't know, what if someone were to be sitting outside wherever you got this list, just waiting for the deal to go down? Okay, well, that's not possible. It's always moving. I'm not gonna jump through hoops here. If you want in, it's on my terms. There's plenty of buyers to choose from. It's only one list. Anyone trying to help themselves to it is dead. My guess is right, Walsh said he's using a moving loop to keep the list out of harm's way. Well, that tells us something. It's on a 24-7 relay, and they're using motorcycles. They're all over the town, they can't get stuck in traffic, and they're just handing that list from one rider over to the next, and they don't stop until it's sold. <laughs> I gotta tell you, I'm impressed. You're impressed? You should be upset, saying we can't hit the list if we don't know where it is or when it's gonna be there. But hey, nobody said stealing the list would be easy. We can make it work. We just need to make some new buddies. My specialty. Spies don't do well with downtime. Their idea of R&R is recon and rendition, so they don't exactly cherish days off. Hey, what's up, big brother? Especially when it means uh -oh. playing chaperone to your kid brother. Oh, yeah, sorry, man. You're looking better than I expected. Mom told me about uh, you getting shot. I heard it was pretty serious. Yeah, I'm better, so why the last minute trip home? Yeah, well, there's Mom, you know, you. People I love and I want to see. What's wrong with that? You booked a ticket on one day's notice without any luggage. I'm figuring it's more than just a family reunion, Nate. <sighs> Fine. This buddy of mine, he owns a custom car shop with his brother. They got hit a couple days ago. They lost three cars. You flew back home just to track down some stolen cars. These guys know I got contacts in that arena. It's gonna be easy. What does that look for? Don't they have insurance? Yeah, look, it's good money. They're friends. That's it, I swear. It's on the way, bro. the El Camino. so heated, man. Eh? It's just some stolen cars. It is and it isn't. Uh, can you elaborate a bit more? A few months back, the shop was in trouble. We were behind on the mortgage, the bills, and everything. I messed up. I got into business with this guy, Hector Rivera. He's not just a guy. He's a drug kingpin! I let him use our cars to transport his drugs. One shipment a month. It's supposed to be a temporary thing. It's low risk, and then we got robbed. And one of the stolen cars was loaded with Rivera's drugs. How much? 20 kilos of heroin. What? And, and you're telling me this now? I don't feel bad, Nate. I'm just finding out, too, and that's my brother. What were you thinking, man? I, I was desperate. Look, this shop's been in our family for 46 years. Our, our grandfather built it and passed it on to our dad. And now it's ours. Look, I don't want our generation to be the one to lose it. I get it, Billy. You did it for a good reason. Hooray for you. But that doesn't get us a pass when the Rivera shows up. He is still going to kill us. Not if you find the car. How long till he comes looking? I could probably hold him off for another day, maybe two. Okay, well, it's not a lot of time, but it can be done. I'll find your car. <laughs> Look, I swear to God, I didn't know about the drugs. All right, but don't worry about it. I'm not trying to rope you into this. Okay, I'll figure it out myself. No, I don't want you to figure it out. You're not taking the job. Yes, I am. Nate, you're not just looking for a car. It's full of dope. You need to tell them to get out of town now, and I mean... Right now. Okay, then what? Are they gonna run for the rest of their lives? Come on, Mike. These guys got families. They should have thought about that when they got into bed with Rivera. Hey, you know what it's like to have a screw up for a brother. I'm taking the job. I mean, with or without your help. All right, I'll call Fee. Cars they swiped. Which one of these had the drugs in it? 1969 GTO. God, she's pretty. He 
boys ready for show and tell? Your friends were hit by a top-notch crew. I checked the surveillance footage. Nothing. They used laser strobes to blind the cameras and a plasma torch to cut through the gates. And to top it off, Billy said they put a sedative in his poor dog's puppy chow. Drugs, lasers, and plasma torches, you make it sound like they threw a rave at you. The list of crews working in this level in Miami is likely to be very short. See, I'm thinking I should talk to Tony Soto. Wait, what? I did some business a while back with a guy who ran Miami's biggest auto theft rank. Oh, I know who Tony he... Soto is. I just, I didn't know that he was friends with my brother. We're not exactly friends. And Soto doesn't exactly know him as Michael. Re-establishing an old cover ID isn't just a matter of changing your name. If you want access to the contacts that go with that cover, you have to recreate the past. The way you walk, talk, and look has to be consistent with what people remember, down to the smallest detail. The direction you part your hair, what gun you carry, your brand of sunglasses, even the pinky ring you wear. What the hell is going on here? I, I gotta help some friends, Ma. And you have to dress like a funeral director? Come on, Mom, the suits were Mike's idea. This helping you're doing isn't dangerous, is it, Nate? No, I'm just gonna find a car. Mm -hmm. I'm holding you responsible for keeping him out of trouble. Mom, he's a grown man. You're still his big brother. Okay, I will look out for him. You ready? Wait, my boys are dressing up. I'm gonna take a picture. Mom, we don't have time for the... Keep the car running, I won't be long. Well, well. Smooth talking chat. What do you say, Tony? Long time. What brings you back to Miami? Looking for a car. Custom shop on Barton Ave got hit the other day. The crew used laser strobes, plasma torches. How many cars they get? Three in total. Including a sweet 69 GTO that was just my size. Somebody stuck their finger in the wrong pie. I'm not mad. I just want to get my ride back. I got an idea who you're talking about. My guy's gotta confirm. I appreciate it. How's the tricks? Hmm, better than ever. Have you heard what a BMW 750 goes for in China these days? Hmm. Actually, I can use a crew like yours if you're looking for work. Sorry, my dance card is full. Hmm. The crew that hit that custom shop is run by a guy called Buckwild. He's not on my good side. That's the address to his job shop. Here's the thing, Johnny. You take that information. I'm gonna need a little favor in return. As I recall, you enjoy destroying things. Once you're done with your business, I want you to do some Johnny-style damage on that job shop. Put it out of commission. A deal's a deal. Rush a guy like Tony Soto. Billy called three times with bears on his way to their shop. Where's my car? Stolen! I swear I don't know where it is. <laughs> We're not customers. And who the hell are you? The name's Johnny. I hear you're looking for a car. I'm the guy who's gonna find it. And I'm the guy who's gonna help the guy who's gonna find it. <laughs> Do we look like we need help? Easy. We're car guys. I used to steal, now I find the Taylor brothers hired me. You put our business on the street. They took initiative to make up for a mistake. You're a businessman, you can appreciate that. How do you plan on finding my car? I already have the name of the thief who took it. I'm gonna find him and ask for it back. As soon as your dog stops barking at me. Ah. Give the man some room, Caleb. If you're as good as you seem to think you are, I'd say 24 hours is enough time. Do I look like I need more? <laughs> but I can't trust somebody I don't know, so... You don't make a move unless my boy Caleb is there to see it. The cheerleader can come. Bring your pom-poms. One more thing. Just to make sure you're sufficiently motivated. I keep him until it's done. Wait, take me. That's my fault. Suit yourself. Go on, it's taking me. You don't know.
always have to rely on trained operatives to gather intelligence. A problem that seems impossible, like finding a single motorcycle circling in a crowded city, becomes much easier if you can hire a hundred people to sit on street corners and record every motorcycle they see for a few dollars a day. Whether it's shop owners, cab drivers, or kids playing in the street, every city in the world has a network of potential spies just waiting to be recruited. So how's our new crew of field operatives look? Oh, got the downtown area locked down. Any motorcycle comes through here more than once, we'll know about it. <laughs> we still have money for beer left. <laughs> you talk to Mike? No. We're gonna let him take it easy on this one. He could use a break. <laughs> Nate, take the jacket off. You're not going with us this time. Oh, okay. I see, I can drive you to a meeting, that's fine, but I can't go with you to get the car that I was hired to recover. Not when we're walking into a location full of unknowns. Tony said Buckwild's crew is a handful. That's my point. And don't forget, he told you to level the place. You could use the help. Nate's right. With Sam and Jesse out of town. Nate, you forgot your sandwich! Michael, may I ask what you boys are up to? Nothing, Mom. Just, um, mm. Excuse me. They're only loaded with beanbag rounds. It's not Mike's fault. I got him into this one. Nate, you know, would you excuse me? Give me a moment with Michael, please. You may be too old for me to spank, but I'll say this. Your brother gets hurt, and I'm putting one of these out in your eye. Understood? They use that garage as a chop shop. It belongs to a guy named Buck Wild. My cousin. We're about to find out. Slow down, Caleb. The deal was you got to congratulate, not participate. I do this my way, with my crew. Okay, so the boys, as long as we get the car back, I'm good. <laughs> Sometimes the best way to get past security is to make it seem riskier to keep you out than it is to let you in. Hey, what are you doing, lady? I nicked this baby off this game. Buckwell's set to drop in here. I need to get it off the street before it turns into a pumpkin. Alright, give me, give me a minute, alright? The average security guard won't risk angering someone important. And an illegal chop shop, the lady in the $90,000 stolen car is a VIP. Come on, hurry up. Good news, boys, it's quitting time. who we are, and that is what we want. I see a Camaro and a Mercedes. Guess what's missing? You stole three cars from Taylor and Sons. Prize goes to whoever tells us where the GTO is. Maybe we should be more specific about the prize. The winner gets to be outside when this place burns. Wait, wait, wait. Buck Wild has it. He said he already had a buy lined up. We got a winner. Bonus round. Tell me where I can find this buck wild. Look at the first car. We got an idea where to find it. What the hell you doing there? What did we do? That's what we did. Now let's go. I got another stop. That's the house. Remember the deal. You sit tight while I go talk to Buckwild. Not this time. This guy stole my boss's car. I want to hear what he has to say. I'm going. Fine, but you follow my lead. Whatever you say, Jack Boy. It's gonna be kind of hard to question a dead man. Stupid son of a bitch tried to shoot me, left me no choice. Get the hell out of here. This must be some defense, Michael. Caleb has been in this house before. He came straight back here. I knew what this room was. Safety's on. So, Caleb stole Rivera's car and the drugs, and he's letting the tailors take the full part. Too bad the only one who can prove that was dead. Intelligence gathering tends to involve a lot of number crunching. 
analysts have computers specially programmed to turn raw data into useful information. But as with repairing a radio or dressing a wound, in the field it's important to be able to do the same work with what you can find in a third-rate hotel room. Well, my gal Gabriella makes a mean cat facita, but she's got to work on her handwriting. So this is it, the last of the intelligence reports, every motorcycle that passed in the last 12 hours. What? Here you go. Um, okay, please, tell me. I saw a red dirt bike, I see spike. One, nine, seven, two, three, five, bam! What? I got you! Said it couldn't be done, you died me, but I got you, now what, huh? Hmm? Uh, Jesse, hey, can I get an invite? To what? To the party in your head? Yes, you may, okay. Most of these motorbike sightings have been ran, right? Right? Guys doing drop-offs, picked us with these two, doing loops, alternating, every four hours, Every four hours, they stop for gas here. Probably where they make the switch. The best place to intercept the list would be right there. That's the best place? It's downtown. I know. It's not, but that's the only place to go off the main streets. In this back alley right here, Taylor made for springing a trap. Come on, now. Come on, give it to me, man. Come on, now. I guess we're not talking about a two-man job anymore, are we? No, I'll see anything Mike and Fee can get down here. At least today, Fee said Mike's family time got a little hectic. You're telling me that Caleb hired a thief to steal the car for him, and then he killed him right there in front of you? Well, not right in front of me, but basically. I know it sounds bad. Well, it, it is bad, but it's not as bad as you're thinking. I gotta go talk to Rivera, darling, that Caleb stole the drugs and the car. That's not a good idea. We still have plenty of time. How is 17 hours plenty of time? I'm not just gonna stand here and let Caleb run the time I don't do. Listen, listen to me. I know you wanna help. I know you love your brother. But if it's your word against Caleb, you will lose. And so will Billy. He <laughs> did the deal he made with Mary and it for me. Thought you didn't know about it. I, I didn't want to know about it. Look, I got sick about a year ago and the doctor Bill's age sucked up every cent we made and then some. And Billy told me just to focus on getting well and not to worry about taking care of the shop. And I never once asked him where he got the money from. Now you're telling me when he needs my help, there's nothing that we can do. There's a lot we can do. Look, we know that Caleb stole the car. All we gotta do now is prove it. Right, we're gonna break into his place and we're gonna find something that's gonna lead us to it. What if we don't? Worst case, we go in hard and we get Billy. And then we're on the run. Like I said, worst case. <sighs> Caleb's got two guys with guns in the front of the house. What does it look like here? It's wide open. We're just waiting for Caleb to leave. But you guys are gonna have to search without me. Why, what's going on? I got a text message from Hector Rivera. He wants me at his house for a meeting. Uh-oh. Looks like Rivera wants Billy and Caleb at that meeting. I can't imagine this is good news. I'm gonna see what's up, but the plan doesn't change. The only chance we have of helping Billy is to prove Caleb stole the car. You guys have to get in there and find something we can use. Right on time. If I had known it was a pool party, I would have brought my floaties. <laughs> Don't worry, Johnny. You're not going swimming. So what am I right on time for? Let's take a little trip. I've been doing a little looking on my own, Johnny. Heard from the source. He says that he found a GTO. This is my happy face. Figure you might want to be there when we go to get it. Let me call off my people. No use searching for a car that's already been found. Nothing but bad paintings and tacky furniture in the rest of the house. You find anything? No, but he's definitely hiding something. I found a bunch of shredded documents over there. It's just, I, I can't get past these encrypted files. Michael, what's up? Time to pull the plug, people. Sounds like the car turned up. Turned up where? I don't know, but Caleb's taking us to it right now. They found the car. Caleb's taking them to it. It's a setup. How much you want to bet me that Caleb put that car somewhere that makes it look like the brothers double cross Rivera? That's why he's bringing Michael and Billy. They get there, Rivera sees the car. We've got to figure out where they're headed. How? We looked everywhere. And they shredded everything. Any security-conscious person knows to protect their computer and shred their documents. They tend to forget, though, about the step between computer and hard copy. Most printers store documents in their memory. It's a convenient way for users to print another copy, and a convenient way for spies to seal information. Printed a rental agreement for a storage unit. It's in Billy's name. Where? Dania Beach. If they're leaving from Rivera's place, they got a five-minute head start. They don't know it's a race.
She's in there. We're gonna have to set up an ambush. Can't you pick the lock? Well, yeah, of course I can. But if Vera and this guy's gonna be here any minute, we'll never get the car in time. Be there's not a lot of things I can do better than my brother, but a hot war in the car is one of them. Just get me inside. Any run-of-the-mill car thief can hotwire a standard vehicle, but dealing with a custom hot rod equipped with a kill switch requires special skills. Splicing the right wires together to create an electrical bypass takes a seasoned pro. Slow it down, Columbo. The only thing Billy admitted to is he has a storage unit. Let's see what's in there. Painted. I don't see my car. <laughs> Why are you wasting my time? My associates were good. They must have moved it somehow. I should kill both of you. Not if your boss still wants to find his car. We made a deal. I still have eight hours to play with. Why? If I don't have my car and my product when you're done playing, the tailors die. So do you. Nothing, man. That's the last place the drugs could have been. Damn it! Here's what we do. We, uh... We put this baby back together and... then we drive it over to Rivera's. I doubt Hector Rivera likes this car enough to forget about two million dollars worth of heroin. All right, then we just tell him what happened. All right, Caleb stole the car. By the time we found it, the drugs were gone. It won't matter what we tell them. They'll still think we stole the car. Look, I get it. It's a long shot, but... You got any better ideas? Our only play here is to have Rivera discover this car on Caleb's property. I mean, talk about long shots, Mike. There's no way we drive onto his property without his guards seeing us. There's an access gate to the alley in the back. We could walk the car in, put it right behind Caleb's greenhouse. Remember that summer Dad made us rebuild the charger? Call Jeff. We need to borrow some tools. Mom. Is your phone broken or you just not answering? We've been really busy. So I see. Nate's out front packing car pieces on the back of a truck. Remember that car we were looking for? Well, we found it. Oh, good. Do you mind telling me why there's a gun in his pocket when you promised me that Mom, you... Mom, I really don't have time for this. This job, his idea, not mine. And by the way, you have two sons. I don't know why you're only worried about him. Oh, stop whining. I worry about you both, Michael. But only one of you is about to be a father. Nate and Ruth are having a baby. Why do you think he was so hot to fly across the country for a job finding stolen cars? You should have told me. You should have told me! I promised him I wouldn't say anything, but now... We... Look, Michael, I know you're never gonna go for the wife and kids in the house with a picket fence, but I think Nate wants a shot at normal. I'm not sure there even is such a thing. But if he's got a chance, I don't want him running around with a gun chasing after bad guys! I get it, Mom. I get it. If I could do this job without him, I would, but I can't. Could you at least make sure nothing bad happens to me? Charity truck. Nice call, Fig. Well, we are making a donation to Kayla. Hey, bro. If you're planning on doing heavy mechanic work in hostile territory, it's not enough to make sure you can't be seen. You also have to make sure you can't be heard, which means silencing your tools. It's hard to concentrate on getting the engine timing right if you're worried about getting shot. In the field, skill with a wrench is often just as important as skill with a gun. When time isn't on your side, you can't worry about passing a government inspection, but you have to do enough to make sure your point gets across. One hour left, time to go. Not yet, Fee, we still have too much to do. Michael. As much as I like seeing you all sweaty and greasy, Rivera's expecting to see Johnny. You gotta go. Then you finish this? I already saved your ass once today. I can do it again. For your sake, I hope you came here in the 1969 GTO. I prefer Chargers, but I didn't find your car. I heard that once already today. Not from me. When I open my mouth, I'm right.
This is Caleb's address. You think this is funny? Do I look like I'm laughing? Caleb stole your car and your heroin. Try to pin it on the tailors. You come here without my car, without my product, and you expect me to believe this story? Yes, yes, and no. In my experience, show beats tell. When you and I are taking a ride to Caleb's place. You're dead. My men your are men, men. Your men are coming with us. I need somebody to drive. Few more minutes, then I'm off you. Then I'm gonna off your butt, and then I'm gonna find your friend. Insulting! No need to go looking for me, Caleb. I made it easy on you. <laughs> what the hell is this? Mr. Rivera was missing his car, so I brought him to it. What are you talking about? I told you when I met you, I'm the guy who's gonna find the car. I found it. Well, that's ridiculous. The car's not here. He's insane. Maybe I am, but I can still tell time, and I got six minutes to make good. And why don't you walk us out behind the greenhouse? Here, hurry up. I'm going as fast as I can. Are you gonna believe me? You're going crazy now with a gun on you. Fine. Try this on for size. If I'm lying, shoot me. Mm. Gladly. They're coming, mate. We have to go. We're good. Well, what about this piece? I wonder if you look like Kayla got the drugs out. Why are you so nervous? I'm not nervous, I'm pissed. Okay. You wanna sit? Let's go sit. Come on. I'm going to finish. If there's no car, there's no Johnny. What the hell? There's no way. I thought you said it wasn't here. He did this. Don't you see? He set me up. I set you up. How do you figure that, Caleb? I just drove that car through the front gate past all your guards. I'm good. I'm really good, but I'm not that good. Hector, I would never steal from you. Mm. You mean you never will again? Take him inside. What about my product? I said I'd find a car. You want the drugs? Talk to your boy. Get Taylor and go. You don't want to see what happens next. Going to hell, Mary, when I called you, Nate. I thought it actually worked. It was a pleasure, Billy. Just don't make it a habit. Man, no need to worry about that. From now on, we do business the old fashioned way, no matter what. Hey, Rivera paid us for the last car. He said it was a small price to pay for finding the wreck. Okay. If you need any work done on that charger, give us a call. Treat you like family. I might take you up on that. All right. Thank you. So, what do you say? 50 50? No, why don't you keep it? You know, for the baby. I was gonna tell you. I wanted to. But I'm just not used to the idea of being a dad. <laughs> I mean, what am I gonna tell a kid? Hey, here's everything not to do. How about you start with how you saved the Taylor lives? And me too. I saved your ass twice. Yeah, you did a great job, mate. Now, if your kid turns out anything like you, I'm gonna be proud of him. All right. Take care of yourself, huh? Be nice if my kid had a cousin someday. Hey, Mikey. Sam, got your message. Look, it's about time. Hey, you done with your family thing? Cause I got a guy with a seaplane on standby. No customs, no questions. Yes, yeah, Sam. I'm done. Welcome to paradise. You bring those goodies we talked about? Everything one needs for a proper vacation. We're still on a list for you, not staging a coup. Well, you know us girls, we have a tendency to overpack. I'm guessing you didn't invite me here for the view. This is where the magic happens, Mikey. All right, this is how this is going to work. The rider we're looking for is coming our way in about an hour. Sam, you and your truck are going to be waiting for him. All right? We know we'll be heading west. We know he's got the list. Get ready, guys. It's about to be a major backup on Avenida needed day pass. Hey, please, head in your way.